Today we're going to talk about screwdrivers. Here you can see a selection of screwdrivers that I use. This screwdriver here is my weapon of choice and I'll explain why that is in a second. I've got four on display here so that you can see um, all the different heads. These are flathead screwdrivers. These are the old-fashioned London pattern screwdrivers which are very, very good for uh, big screwdrivers. You don't need an impact driver when you've got one of these. These will take out virtually any screw, uh, flathead screw that, that, fi that fits in. This is a power screwdriver or drill driver, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. They all come with, with a detached magnetic uh, body and then you just slip the, the bit of choice into your um, into your school, drew, s screwdriver but my weapon of choice whenever I'm doing anything with sash windows is this it's a Stanley screwdriver yeah I think it's probably one of the best on the market loads and loads of people will disagree with me but I'm going to show you why I think it's so good if you look at if you look at the tip of that, you will notice that it goes parallel. It, it tapers, but becomes parallel at the end. What that means is that when it sits in a screw, it is sitting down deep. Well, let's see if we can get that on the camera. The screwdriver bit is sitting fully into the screw head and it's also in full contact all the way round. Modern screwdrivers, this is from, this is from a German, German company, very, very good. They have a film or a scratching on the end that when they're new is very, very good. But if you'll notice that this one tapers. So what that means is that when you put the screw in, it waggles from side to side because there's um, there, there's not enough grip. That is a parallel cut in there and here you have a tapered cut and so there's always a little bit of waggle room which means that when you're applying a lot of torque in turning the heads very often spin out. Now we come to back to this this is a six in one tool. Now generally, I think that one man, one job, one tool, one job. But in this particular instance, I've, over the years, I've fallen in love with this particular model of screwdriver. I don't like the ones with a hundred bits. What this one has is a wide flat head, as, a, as I said, with a parallel tip, it then has, if you swap that over, for narrower screw heads, again, the same parallel um, end, yeah, which, which means that you get the ma most amount of contact. You pull that out, turn it around, he said, there we are. And then you have a posi drive head there, pull that out, and then you have a small posi drive head there. This will take care of virtually all of your crosshead and flathead screws. It also has a hexagonal bit on either end so that you can um, do certain types of nuts just like a like the old um, Tommy spanners Tom, with Tommy bars and he, with this end here it means that you can actually turn in um, cup hooks and the like very, very easily. I don't use those, or very, very rarely do I use them. I just use these bits here. This is for the crossheads, and the most important part is for the flatheads. That's for, for my type of work. Now, let's put that back in there. That, I cannot begin to tell you how important this head is. 
Yeah? When you're applying torque, you have a complete contact to the screw head, and so it rarely cams out. But the beauty of these is, is that they are so hard that when you clean the slot out of a hundred years of paint with that end, and I'll show, there'll be a little bit, bit of video afterwards showing you that, yeah, you can knock it out, turn it around, and then with the flathead, with the wider flathead, you can get the screws out of the pulleys. Yeah, this, this one's been removed, as you can see, this one is well past its sell-by date, but we'll come on to pulleys in another program. So, if you have the chance, go out and get one of these. It's the 6-in-1 Stanley. I would not go for the multi-head type because they don't stand up to the wear and tear that you would have to uh, give them uh, with sash window, uh, sash window pulleys. Yeah, so it comes with a wide head, a small head, a small cross, uh, a large cross head, and a small cross head. And all in one, one, two, three, four. To my mind, this is one of the best screwdrivers on the market. It's not well known. These are from a German company. For those that are in the know, they'll recognize, recognize the make. When they're new, very, very good. When they're old, they're the same as virtually any other screwdriver. Yeah. And that's it. Just to recap, I'll just show you what I mean with a flathead screw. A normal flathead screw, screwdriver, a screw rather, is shaped something like that. A modern flathead screwdriver is shaped something like that. These Stanley screwdrivers, and they're the only ones that um, I'm able to get hold of that have, have this, uh, this form, are shaped something like that. This one fits into that slot perfectly. This one damages the edges and that's why when you look at lots and lots of screws you will see a slot with damage on there and damage on there. That gets rounded off and then the, it's a real ache to try and get that, uh, that screw out. So if you can try to go for this type of screwdriver. It really is, to my mind, and for my purposes, the best I've found. Now what we've got to do is we've got to take the, um, the pulleys out. These pulleys are shot, uh, they, squ they squeak. Sometimes you can oil them uh, and bring them back to, to life, but uh, my preference is just to put new ones in um, and I'll, sh I'll show you that in a, in a second. What we're going to do, we clear out the grooves in the flathead screws. Once we find the head, and there's the head. Clear the groove out. There's four of them. On some, on some, on the bigger pulleys, it tends to be eight screws. First, find your screw. Right. 
Tu te lances. We're removing a hundred years of paint, so it takes a bit of time. Right, that's the slots cleared. Now, the next thing to do is get the screw out. Now, what I've found is that if you tighten the screw first, it's very easy to undo. That's 95% of the time. The other 5% is a complete and utter screw up. Yeah, so tighten that up and loosen it off. You can see how rusty they are, but they come out, despite the fact that they've been in there for so long, they come out with ease. So tighten it up. You can see this, you can see the seal breaking and then undo the screw. 